I love sunrises. A lot of people love beautiful sunsets. I love beautiful sunrises because it says, hey, you made it to another day. My wife and I have been married for 43 years. I met her when I first got back from Vietnam. We have three beautiful daughters and we have seven grandchildren. Dan is the best father that there could be. He is not a person or a dad that says no to um, any of his girls. Memories start for that day of, you know, just loving, you know. Oh my gosh, I'm going up to the grandkids, you know, tradition, hot dogs, you know, the pumpkins, the kids are gonna get dressed. And as I was sitting there drinking, it was a cup of punch that they had given me, I noticed that I was drooling down the side of my face. He comes walking over to me, not, so, not too long after we had arrived there, and um, he says to me, or tries to say to me, motioning and made some sounds coming out of his mouth. It's very difficult to watch a loved one go through something like that and not know how it's going to end up. You know, once the stroke happened, I guess I didn't sleep. I thought, is, is it going to happen again? The doctors didn't know for sure um, what was causing the stroke. So he, I felt like he, my husband was, Dan was a, a walking time bomb. Something's going on with your heart. We want to monitor your, your heart activity. And then Dr. Maya said, hey, there's some new technology out. And uh, I said, well, let's try it. They had a transmitter sit next to my bed. So every night at midnight, it would automatically talk to this chip. And so with my next appointment with the doctor, when he started seeing the results from this monitoring, he said, you've got AFib. It certainly was a lot of relief. It was, instead of looking over my shoulder all the time for every little, you know, finger prick you got or whatever was happening at the time, pay attention to your body again. It's always trying to tell you things. Either things are doing great or things are going a little off kilter. And if it's not real, real serious, obviously keep a log, keep a journal. Learn by it, examine it, explore it, uh, persist.